Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22 from 2003. So, this game I actually imported back in 2003 to together with the game Air Gaze, the fighting game for the PlayStation 1, <coughs> where you can play as Final Fantasy 7 characters. <coughs> I've already uploaded videos from that game without speaking back in the day. I believe I had an old playthrough of the PlayStation title on the PlayStation 2 that I streamed using the Pinnacle device. It's still on my YouTube channel. It's uh, in pretty bad quali uh, video quality, unfortunately, because the resolution is only 480p, I believe. Back in those videos, I believe most of them, not the mini games, but the, the, the rest, I, I remade them in 2015 with the emulator, the EPSXE emulator, the same I'm using here. So the graphics are much better there, but I haven't done any videos where I speak, and I haven't done the mini games in higher resolution. Okay, so now we're doing. Dragon Ball Steel Ultimate Battle 22 for the PlayStation 1. As you saw, it's from 2003, the same year that I... No, I, I believe I imported this game and Air Gaze in 2004, when I was in 7th grade. Uh, but uh, the game is from 23, or 2003. Uh, in the States, I, I recently found out that this game is actually older than Dragon Ball GT Final Bout that I played previously. So this game is from 1995, the same year that the PlayStation 1 released, but it only released in Japan and in France and Spain in uh, 1995, uh, and it would take until 2003 until it was released in, in America with an English translation. So that's why I thought the game was from 2003, because the American version is from 2003, the game that I imported. So uh, France, Spain and Japan had the game in 1995 and I believe Spain, that means probably Mexico and the Portuguese world as well, like uh, all, all the countries in South America. Okay, uh, so uh, we will have easy difficulty on, stereo, health points and strengths, yes, okay. So in this game you're supposed to be able to build up your characters and level them up and such. Uh, it looked way better on the on the cover of the game than, than in reality. So so I bought this game, I imported it in 2004, uh, but I didn't really like it, I thought it was pretty bad. It's a mix between 2D and 3D graphics. All the backgrounds are now in 3D for the first time ever in a Dragon Ball game. This was the first Dragon Ball game for the PlayStation. Uh, I thought it was the latest one, but uh, that was just because it released very late in America. Um, <coughs> well, Final Bout released in 97 for America. Um, but, um, yeah, the, the Final Bout game is two years mo more recent than this game. Just not in America. Uh, okay, and this game has 3D backgrounds for the first time, but still, uh, or still, uh, it is still using the 2D sprites of earlier titles, but has completely new sprites for this game that look better than on the earlier systems. Okay, we will go immediately to One Player vs. Com. We have a bunch of characters. We have Son Goku, the main character. We have Trunks. We have Majin Buu, Android 18, using her <coughs> Buu Saga looks. We have Frieza in his final form. We have Android 16, we have Krillin, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, or Son Gohan, we have Goten, Super Saiyan Goten, Son Goten, uh, we have Super Saiyan Gotenks, we have Kid Trunks as a Super Saiyan, we have Supreme Kai, we have Captain Ginyu, we have Taiyan or Ten Shinhan, as is known in Europe and in Japan. Uh, we have a great Saiyaman, which is uh, adult Son Gohan, uh, as a hero. Um, <coughs> we have Dabra, the Demon King. We have Perfect Cell. We have Piccolo. We have Raccoon of the Ginyu Force. We have Captain Ginyu. Okay. It's a bit difficult to select some of them. We have Majin Vegeta. We have Super Boo. And we have Sarbun there. 
difficult to select there, Sarban. From the Namek saga. There might be hidden characters too, I don't know. Let's just pick Android 18. <coughs> and play the story mode. <coughs> Let's go. I actually recorded it. Uh, but anyway, this has better sprites than the earlier titles and has 3D backgrounds and I kinda like the the, the controls. I didn't like this game on the PlayStation 2 when I played it back in the day, but on the emulator it has way better resolution, you know, the 1920 1080p resolution. On the PlayStation 2 it would look worse. So we shoot on, uh, on circle, we hit on square, we move up and down on triangle, we will uh, kick on X. And then by moving the analog stick we can uh, do different moves. On, on L1 we move fast to the right and on R1, no, on, on R1 we move this way and on L1 this way. And up on triangle. So the, the buttons are not that difficult but uh, uh, you use the, the, <coughs> the analog stick to, to do special combos while pressing the, the specific buttons. For example, X for kicking, square for hitting, and circle for shooting, and then you use the analog stick to change the combos. I did manage to do quite a few combos when I played a few days ago, two days ago. See that uh, run, but I have managed to do a really cool uh, combo and some uh, cool uh, shooting attacks too. Now we failed to do any cool move here. We still won the battle. <coughs> so yeah, this is better here. The illusion is better thanks to the emulator too, and the play PlayStation is much better than the. Okay. Had in the 90s, and the Super Nintendo and Sega were. Uh, but what uh, less wealthy people used. Okay. <coughs> because the Super Nintendo and the Sega, they are like early 90s systems using 2D sprites, while the PlayStation is a mid 90s system using 3D for the first time. The, the NES uh, is a. Uh, mid 80s system using 2D it's uh, really outdated in the 90s even <coughs> so I was too young for the Nintendo 8-bit system but some of my cousin, cousins had uh, Nintendo 8-bit so I played on, on their system when we visited them but yeah I was too old for the Nintendo I mean too young for the Nintendo <laughs> Uh, we had the Super Nintendo as our first console. We, we never had the PlayStation 1 in the 90s. But we got, I got the PlayStation 2 in the 2000s and, and it was backwards comp on the PlayStation 2. Around 2003, 2002. So the PlayStation had some <coughs> loading times. Very, very slow in all their games. Nice. Fuck you, Supreme Kai. Ah, fuck, we have no energy. I want to charge, but I don't remember how to do it. I thought it was just pressing the same buttons as for the other. So this game has some cool uh, um, zoom in, zooming in camera views. The pixels. The backgrounds look the same as in the later game. The Final Bout title from 97. <coughs> that released uh, six years. I, mean, uh, I think uh, prior to this game in the States, but two, uh, two years after this game everywhere else. 
Okay. Ah, we headbutted him. Okay. I'm supposed to be able to charge when clicking square and X. I don't know. Loading. Yeah, this game was weird because it had a mix between 2D characters and 3D backgrounds, which in my opinion is bad. But it looks better on the emulator with uh, clear resolution. And I think these sprites are certainly better than, than anything prior. PlayStation certainly was the best uh, system graphically in the 90s. Even if the Nintendo 64 is uh, one year later, released one year later, it still had no chance against the PlayStation in, in terms of graphics. The PlayStation used CDs, while the 64 still used cartridges. So. Uh, then there were the Dreamcast, released in the 90s too. I believe it was stronger than the PlayStation, but weaker than the PlayStation 2, but it, I believe it was too weak to, to fight the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube in as system. Uh, otherwise it was stronger than the PlayStation 1, I believe. Because <coughs> it was released in 98 or so. The PlayStation 1 is a 95 system, so it's a few years older. Did the burning attack. So this game has actual commands when they do the special moves, which is nice. Uh, we did an energy wave there. Uh, we need to be closer when we do that attack. Nice. I remember buying this game because we could play as Android 18. I believe that's why I didn't pick Final Bout. I picked this game instead. Okay, I thought they had more interesting characters, especially 18, but I was disappointed in the 2D sprites. I had expected it to be wasn't as good as I'd hoped. But I enjoy it more today than I did back in the day. I think it's easier to play now. Or controller, it has the same buttons and the same analog sticks. Maybe it's a little bit different. It has a few additional buttons that weren't on the PlayStation 2. But uh, it plays about the same. PlayStation 1 controllers, however, were different in the 90s. They didn't have analog sticks. Uh, there were like the PlayStation uh, released in 95, where it had uh, a PS2 looking controller without analog sticks. And then the PS1, the slim version of the PlayStation 1, released later in the late 90s. And that system which were the same uh, system, but uh, had um, a s smaller, like, console. Uh, it had new uh, controllers with analog sticks added. Yeah, so that, those controllers were grey, but they were about the same as the PlayStation 2 controllers. Okay, we won against Majin Vegeta. <sighs> Characters, I don't know if it has... And unlockable characters too. Maybe nice comments when they do their special voice actors, which is nice. And <coughs> then of course you can also customize characters and level them up and such, which I thought was the main attractive feature when I bought it. I was just uh, disappointed at how it worked. You know, it said in the description you could uh, pick a character and level them up and customize them and you know, make them <coughs> um, like you, you you pick a character and then you can um, customize it to your uh, like needs and then fight others with your custom characters so you and a friend could fight each other with your own custom characters which is more fun than having a character that is uh, like every, uh, the same for everyone so to speak Okay, we won against Android 16. <coughs> okay. So, the, the ones in color were defeated. So, so 
So this game is released in 95, then there were Final Bout in 97, and there were another one, Dragon Ball Z The Legend, which had a very weird system where you could play four players at once, with two disc sprites and 3D backgrounds, I believe, uh, where um, the game was released in 97 as well, just in a different month than Final Bout. Then there were no Dragon Ball games for the PlayStation after Final Bout. And uh, it took all the way until 2002 until we saw Budokai for the PlayStation 2. There might have been some games for handled systems but, uh, in, in the meantime, but uh, no more mainline consoles. So there were like a gap from 97 to, to 2002, I believe, for the mainline consoles. Uh, that attack won't work unless he is next to me. Ooh, we headbutted him. Fighters still left for the other mode. We might test. The 90s were quite Dragon Ball heavy, uh, all the way from the late 80s to the uh, mid 90s. Then there were a gap from the mid 90s and until the early 2000s. And Dragon Ball finally became really huge in, in the East, thanks to the <coughs> show becoming popular in the States and in England. Okay, and uh, of course uh, in, in countries like Sweden where the show never aired, because they thought it was too violent most likely, uh, the manga still managed to make its way into Sweden, so it became huge thanks to the manga. So the manga is the comic book version of the show. Uh, it's the, the comic books. Fuck you, Sarban. He managed to win this round, we will have to fight again. First loss in this one. Let's try again. Okay, so the manga, that's... Uh, it consists of 42 main and the anime is based on it, so of additional content, content too. I haven't watched the anime, I've, I've watched most of the Dragon Ball anime back in the 2010s. But I haven't watched the Dragon Ball Z anime, I only watched a few of the episodes. I want to watch it though, because it's epic and it's really great in the way they've drawn it too. It was made in the 80s and early 90s, so the quality is top notch. It's uh, way better drawn than modern anime. You know, it was hand-drawn back in those days. They used uh, hand-drawn animation instead of computer-generated, which looks way more simple and less cool. So the fights are really epic in the anime from the 80s. They look much better than the Dragon Ball Super anime that uh, came in, in 2015 that I haven't watched, but I watched a few scenes from it and it looks worse. Fuck. All right, we should be able to win this. Yeah, we won against Sarben. Okay, so I watched a few episodes from the part of the Dragon Ball manga until I believe the climax with Piccolo in the uh, and then I believe Dragon Ball School. He is his brother and his assassin and all that. That's how most of the games start. The most of the Dragon Ball games start with Dragon Ball Z. I haven't watched Dragon Ball GT either. I only played a few games with Dragon Ball GT characters. Uh, but I want to watch it, despite it being very unpopular, because uh, I want to know 
who all the characters are, you know, I, I, yesterday I found a really cool hack for Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the PlayStation 2 uh, that adds uh, four um, different looks for every character. They hacked the game and added more additional slots to every character. And then they've added characters from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT and from the movies and nothing else. <laughs> So, uh, there are a lot of uh, characters there that I don't know who they are, so I probably need to watch the GT anime to understand that. By the way, Android 18 has an alternate look uh, with the blue jeans here. Uh, so her mainline look is from the Buu saga, uh, but she looks like uh, in the tournament there with the blue jeans. Um, it's her alternate look. Okay. Fuck you, Android 18! Yeah, we won. I did some um, unique beam there. Lightning. Blue lightning attack there. Okay. So I, uh, I really like the hack. Everything, uh, including new character skins for characters, and they make sense for the original anime and such. So I believe I have the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z anime, but not the GT anime. I didn't want it because uh, of the popularity and it uh, would take up a lot of space if I downloaded it, so... Uh, but anyway... Uh, <coughs> I think I will watch it at some point. I will first have to finish Dragon Ball. So I've, I've read the, all the 42 volumes of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z back in the day, back in 2002 and 2003 when they add. I used to buy, you know, a volume each month until, the f the, until it was finished. It's one of the few manga series that were completed in Sweden, you know. We had One Piece, we had Detective Conan, we had Ranma, One and a Half, we had, uh, we had Naruto, we had Shaman King, we had a lot, lot of other anime shows, but most of them didn't uh, get completed in Sweden before they were cancelled. Dragon Ball is one of the exceptions where all 42 volumes were aired. Uh, I do not have the Dragon Ball Super manga stuff. 2015 and onwards. Right, and they are pockets. You read them from left to right. They are very good. And um, as for the anime, I believe I watched from the start of the Dragon Ball anime, including all the filler episodes. Because in, in shows, in anime shows, when they uh, air the episodes, usually the manga is not finished. So, so the episodes air at the same time as the creator of the manga is still uh, drawing new chapters of the manga and uh, in order to not catch up with the creator they need to add filler episodes because they don't want the show to die if, if they reach the, the point where the creator is in the manga then they would be forced to wait maybe a year or two before they could publish new content and that's bad you know they, they want uh, to keep people interested in the product and uh, as such need uh, to have uh, content all the time so they uh, in modern anime shows they, they uh, make sure to be a step behind the creator of the manga and, and uh, in order to not uh, <coughs> lose people's interest in the product they add a lot of filler episodes so you, you have for example then they publish maybe the first five and then they do a bunch to allow the creator to official part and then more filler episodes and, and such, so that, so that the anime won't uh, reach the, the, the same spot where the manga artist is until the manga artist is finished. Uh, because if uh, the anime catches up with the manga, then they would be forced to, to, to you know, cancel the show for a long period of time. Because uh, usually in a month, I believe, uh, a manga artist could publish one chapter. And an anime episode uh, consists of many chapters, so uh, they, they need to be a step behind the manga artist. And uh, yeah, uh, so, so that's why there are a lot of filler episodes in the anime that are not in the manga. And uh, unlike the Naruto anime and, uh, and the One Piece anime, where I skipped all the filler content because they sucked, very boring episodes without any effect on the story of the of the uh, show, so to speak. They were just there to fill up time, 
uh, and allow the creator to finish more chapters um, <coughs> while still uh, keeping people interested in the product. Um, I usually skip all those filler episodes, now I didn't pay enough attention, we'll have to fight Goku again. Uh, but yeah, so I usually skip all of the filler content. I did that with Naruto and One Piece. I haven't finished the One Piece anime or manga. Still ongoing by the way, but I haven't even uh, reached uh, the spot where they are now. I, I believe I am at the uh, Dress Rosa chapter against the Flamingo in, in the climax there. I did watch a few episodes in 2019 area where the show is at the moment. So I still have a bunch of, of uh, episodes to catch up to. I believe I also read the, all the chapters up to a certain point. Um, and then I started to skip the manga and just watch the anime. But uh, as I said, uh, I skip all the filler content. But in the Dragon Ball anime, they did really good filler content. So the, the chapters uh, that are filler in Dragon Ball are not boring. Uh, they are actually fun. It's like they, they uh, expanded on the story of the Dragon Ball world and uh, showed more characters, uh, gave the characters more interactions and, and uh, story while still keeping it uh, you know, um, <coughs> relevant to the overall story. So instead of feeling like a filler episode they added used to fill up space, instead it felt like a natural addition to the, the overall story of Dragon Ball. The filler content of the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z animes are actually worthwhile to watch, unlike the Naruto fillers and One Piece fillers. Most fillers are not worth watching, you know. Not even the movies, but the Dragon Ball fillers actually are good. The movies, I would say, are not that good, but the, with the exception of uh, Future Trunks storyline, we, we lost again because I spoke too much and didn't pay attention. We will fight again. Uh, okay, so the filler content of the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z actually about what to watch. I watched until I believe somewhere uh, in the Piccolo arc where King Piccolo uh, heroes the sea fighters. So I'm, I'm at the end of the Dragon Ball anime. Uh, I believe I watched all the episodes up until that point in 2010. I haven't watched it since then, but I still have the episodes. I, I will probably finish the Dragon Ball anime. I also watched uh, the, N the Namekian saga back in the day. I believe I watched uh, downloaded in really bad quality. No, I and I got uh, I got uh, the episodes from a guy that I knew back in the day. He had episodes on a CD uh, <coughs> that he had burned. Okay, so I watched. Uh, I believe the Saiyan Saga and the Namek Saga I watched, and, and then I watched a few episodes from from the Boo Saga and the, and the Android Saga. But all very few uh, favorites of mine, like Vegeta vs. Android 18 and, and uh, Vegeta vs. Boo and Majin Vegeta vs. Um, Majin Boo. Okay, so I watched a bunch of episodes, but uh, I haven't finished the entire series. And. Uh, Let's try and defeat uh, them now. We need to focus. Good. We won. Okay, so I watched uh, a bunch of episodes from Dragon Ball Z, but I haven't watched the majority. I have and I plan on doing it, um, continuing it soon. I want to finish the anime because it's, you know, a comic book in black and white and, and sound effects when they do their attacks and such and, and, and seeing everything and, and the fact that it's hand-drawn looks so epic. It looks way better in terms of action than any modern anime. For example, the One Piece fights in the One Piece anime look very bad in the early seasons at least because uh, they have a lot of uh, images and background pictures that do not really move. Uh, in other words, they were lazy with uh, the hand-drawn uh, or the computer-generated animation. They did a much better job with the Dragon Ball anime in terms of fights. Of course, there are exceptions to, the, to that. There are some nice scenes in the One Piece anime too, but I think they were lazy in the early One Piece show at least, where they um, had a lot of still uh, images where, where the characters didn't even move. 
Uh, well, the Dragon Ball anime has, you know, really awesome fights. Everything hand drawn. So yeah, I, I have to watch it. And 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 unlike in the One Piece and Naruto throws, the filler content is worthwhile to watch because it's not, uh, uh, you know, uh, filler content that they've added just to fill up time. It, it's actually added to enhance the story of the show. So I recommend watching the original Dragon Ball show over the Dragon Ball Z Kai show. Uh, the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z show with all the nice extra content. However, I do not recommend the movies. They suck, with the exception of Future Trunks. Uh, that movie is really good. It's also from the manga, you know. The, they made a movie based on it. The only movie based on manga stuff. It's Android 18. So, Android 18 will come a couple later. He wishes, uh, you know, when they gather the seven Dragon Balls, they can summon the dragon Shenlong, and, vi and which will grant a wish to the person summoning it. And uh, the wish for Krillin was to make Android 18 a human. So she, she became a human girl and uh, later married Krillin and got a daughter with Krillin. I don't remember the name of. Okay, so, but she's an android here, a, ro a robot, just like Android 16 and Android 17, but only uh, 16 looks like uh, the Terminator in some ways, he looks a bit like Schwarzenegger. The others you look like normal American people, or Western people. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like the moves in this when you use the analog stick. Fuck you, Krillin. I, I think they, the, the moves are good. But I don't remember how to charge. Good, we won. It's easy to do the moves. And it looks great, the 2D and 3D mix. Yeah, I, I, and yeah, you can customize characters and, le and uh, level it up and make it stronger than others and then use your custom character against friends or against the computer. Uh, of course, uh, <coughs> the two sprites are not the best possible, but they are certainly better than anything that came before this game. And uh, I don't count 2003 anymore as the year of this release. Even though the English version of the game released in 2003, as I said, but uh, the true date of this game was in 1995, and for a 1995 game, this is really good looking. And it plays great. And unlike the Sega and Super Nintendo, you have the analog sticks, but you didn't have that in the... In the on the original PlayStation 1 with the first original PlayStation 1 controllers. So the analog sticks were added to the PS1 Slim version. And uh, that's how it should be played with the analog sticks. If you use the directional buttons, it's much more difficult and you will get tired in your fingers too. It's easy to roll the analog sticks, but it's uh, not as easy to. It's not as easy to. To, to use the directional buttons. Ah, go on, go on. Super Saiyan, go on. Super Saiyan 3, go on. Okay, let's try again. Can't love it. It almost won. I, I need to watch the anime for Dragon Ball Z. For some reason, I never finished it. Of course, the, the filler content is actually interesting because I don't know about it, you know. It's like watching new episodes that you, n you never watched before. Um, that are actually good uh, and enhancing the story mode, uh, I mean the story of the anime or the Dragon Ball world because uh, without the, the extra content it would be boring and I know everything already due to reading the manga I would say that the manga is uh, very well worth reading but it would have been better to watch the show because you have, you know, all those wonderful uh, fights hand-drawn in detail 
but uh, we had no choice in Sweden when they didn't add a show because it was too violent. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, we got the manga and had no choice but to read it. Uh, so people that usually wouldn't read comics uh, read the Dragon Ball comics because they were so different from anything else released at the time. And uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z was the most uh, popular comic book and uh, and uh, series in Sweden in 2002-2003. So yeah, and I believe had they added uh, the, the anime in the 90s, it would have been huge, but. Sadly, they didn't air it, so and I didn't care about uh, watching it because I already knew the story when, when I, in uh, the internet was good enough to access it. You know, I didn't want to import it. 2003 were really bad. Had like Casa uh, downloading the TLT, and then you downloaded it in like 250p resolution. It was really bad, and it took like two days or more to download like uh, one episode in, in, in 220p resolution. It's not like today where you can download the entire, the entire season in, in, in an hour in, in top quality in 1080p resolution. Back then, uh, 220 or, or something resolution um, took forever for just one episode. So no wonder I didn't bother to download the show. That's why I mostly only read the... I mean the... Uh, that's why I only watched the, the episodes of the Saiyan Saga and the Namekian Saga that I got from that uh, friend that had them on a CD. And then uh, I downloaded only two or three episodes from the Android and Blue Sagas that I really wanted to watch. And I watched them in really bad quality because back then... Um, as I said, it took like more than a day to download one episode in the worst possible quality. So <coughs> watch most of the Dragon Ball anime because I was really interested in watching it, but for some reason stopped watching The Alchemist and The Rune Kenshin show. I didn't watch season 3 because it's filler and it's a really bad filler that killed the show. So the final fourth season were never aired because the, when, when the creator had finished the manga, the show were no longer popular because the filler content of the third season ruined it. People lost interest because it sucked. Uh, but the first two seasons were really good and I watched, that, watched them. And of course, I watched them, the live uh, movies of Rune and Kenshin 2, they are really great. Uh, the three movies released in 2012 and the three movies released last year, they are superb. And also I watched a bunch of other shows like Face Day Night and uh, I watched, uh, I believe, a uh, few seasons of Bleach. I watched all the Naruto anime show episodes, except the, counter, uh, the filler content, I didn't watch that. Fuck, he was too far away. Yeah, we won finally. And I watched a bunch of other shows too. But anyway, uh, the Dragon Ball anime highly recommended to be over everything. Face Super Saiyan Goten. I didn't special attack there. Come on now! I, I like the buttons of this game. It's, it's actually really great. It's a fighting game. It was the graphics that I didn't like when I was a teenager. I believe I was 14 at the time when I bought the game. I played on the PlayStation 2. 
Uh, I believe I have 12 and I got into Dragon Ball in 2002. Okay, so, uh, or 11. 12 or 11. Probably 12. Uh, but 14 when I bought this game and... Uh, Uh, yeah, I didn't like the, the 2D sprites, but I think they are great when compared to anything released before this game. And the buttons are great. True 3D back uh, backgrounds are cool. Good, we did an energy wave there. And we won against Son Goten. Alright, yeah. I PlayStation 1 title Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Son Goten. Okay. Gotenks versus Android 18. It missed me with that attack, which is good. He hit me with his kicks there. Uh, he grabbed me. I like how the the cameras uh, move in and out like that. The camera looks very unique for this game. It, it's like the Bitoden games in the in how you can move up and down like this, but looks better when the screen isn't entirely uh, split into two. You have no energy. Fuck. You might need to re replay this battle. Screw you. Go tanks. fight again. Alright, let's continue. Too far in this uh, storm mode, I believe we are at our final opponent. Play Android 18 again. This clan with the long loading times. They are not improved with the emulator. Because it was the, the games, I believe. So it's not really the PlayStation, it's the games way they were made. So they are take a long time to load, no matter if you use the emulator or a real PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 2, even a PlayStation Portable or a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4, you still get the long loading times unfortunately. But of course with the emulator you get better graphics than on the PlayStation 1. Better resolution. And if they are in 3D you get uh, better graphics because the graphics card is used from the computer and that affects uh, that affects uh, 3D models but not 2D sprites. That's why the 3D backgrounds look way better here but the sprites look the same. Just the resolution are probably improved. Fuck you Gotenks. you. Uh, we won. Failed to do the combo attack that I wanted to do, but we won the battle. Uh, we still have to fight three more. Kid son of loading. If this episode will only be Android 18, we might return to this game later, as I kinda like the controls, uh, and uh, we will uh, play other characters like uh, Majin Vegeta later, but uh, it will be enough to finish the, the arcade mode or storm mode with Android 18 in this video, otherwise it will become too long. This is a good preview video of this game. Good, I did a nice move there. Nice beam. I would like to do the, the, the super um, combos. Not just that one. Yeah, I like 
fighters where I can actually pull off the moves. I don't like the fighters where I have a hard time pulling off any good moves. Ah, I did it! Her combo attack, and we won the battle. It's a cool move. Nice. Yeah, so this is a good fighter in my opinion. I know some people don't like it. In two D sprites and three D backgrounds, then yeah, it's a good fighter with good moves. One dressed up as a hero calls himself the Great Saiyan. You know they are Saiyans, and he dress up like that and. Uh, Stop a few robbers and such. It's a parody on American comic book heroes because you know the the, the main inspiration for Dragon Ball C was S Superman actually, the Man of Steel. Because in the 50s in in Japan, Japan was a uh, protectorate of America. You know they lost World War Two and uh, ended up a protectorate uh, ruled by General MacArthur of the United States and uh, during that time, I believe from 1945 and until 1953 uh, a lot of uh, American values and uh, society uh, like uh, values and such uh, made its way to Japan and uh, so did the comic books of America and the shows, the TV shows especially like the Superman TV show of the 50s were huge in, in Japan in the 50s and of course uh, that show, the Superman show of the 50s inspired a lot of um, Japanese shows and uh, comic books and Dragon Ball Z comic books or mangas inspired by the 50s Superman show type of moves, they, they can fly beams from their eyes, some of them and yeah, so it's uh, Dragon Ball Z is like Japanese Superman pretty much, but without, uh, it, it's not just one hero, there are many characters with moves like Superman, uh, like all the sea fighters and villains can do moves like that, not just one character, uh, not just one hero, but many heroes, and not just a few villains, but all the villains, uh, so <coughs> you can say that Dragon Ball was heavily inspired by Superman, but it's very different, but the great Saiyaman as a character is uh, a parody on, on the what inspired the Dragon Ball show, which was uh, American superheroes of the 50s, especially Superman and the 50s show. Because in the 50s, when the US uh, ruled Japan directly through General MacArthur, uh, the, the Superman show actually aired in Japan and uh, was huge. So. Japan is in many ways a uh, 50s America in some ways. Of course it's different, it's an Asian country, but you know they have certain values and such that uh, would be the same as in 50s America. Right before uh, the feminist revolution in the 60s, so, so it's like a conservative uh, America of the 50s. So you can say America has changed, but Japan <coughs> has a lot of uh, values from those days s still in their country. And Dragon Ball, heavily inspired by American comic books, so certain characters were yoke. And per of course today the, the American comic books are too influenced by politics, so they are not, you can say the, the Japanese manga, uh, the American comic books, and uh, Animations actually used to be more popular than the Japanese, and uh, they are what inspired the manga and anime of today. There are a lot of uh, <coughs> there are a lot of similarities between modern Japanese manga and anime, and old school 50s and 60s comic books from America. Maybe even 70s and 80s and 90s, but not 2000s. I believe in the in the early 2000s the American comic books were still good, but uh, from the from the 25s and onwards, I believe they started to infuse them with politics and feminism and such, and that's when they went downhill. So up until maybe 25. The American comic books were still great. 
when I were a kid, in, in the early 2000s, uh, I still read, you know, Spider-Man and, and X-Men and such, and they were still good. Spawn. Uh, manga took over in 2002, of course, a bit before this show arrived. And they weren't woke back then. They were very much like anime of today. The difference was that the manga volumes have a clear story where every book and, and pocket uh, ends in a uh, um, continue in the next uh, volume. So, so the, the different manga volumes are all connected. It's like one story. You read from the start to the end and you read a manga. So, so if the manga is uh, consisting of 42 manga pockets, then all of them are the same story just uh, split into 42 volumes. Well, the, the American comic books were not uh, one single story. Instead, there are many independent stories using the same heroes and characters. So that's the main difference between pockets and American comics. And also that the American comics, I believe that they are in color, while the manga volumes are in black and white, so you get many more pages of manga volumes while the American comic books were much uh, uh, smaller in size. You didn't get as much uh, content to read but uh, instead you got gorgeous you know colored art instead. Consistent in the American comics. It's different from from book to book in story and then, then it starts from some American, American comics and old school is that there were no uh, feminist politics in the old comics. You had very sexy female characters and very masculine male characters. Well, in the modern uh, American comics you have very strong female characters that are not good looking, that look like men. And then you have weak male characters that always lose to the, the female characters. And you have a lot of uh, you know, homosexual heroes and transgender heroes and such, but that's also the truth for the Japanese comics. They have a lot of, for example, One Piece has a lot of transgender heroes too, and villains, so I wouldn't say that having homosexuals in, in the comic books or, or transgenders is anything unique for the American comics. It's very common in the Japanese manga too, and anime. Uh, but the uh, main difference is t, uh, the main case or such. I believe in, in the modern American comics they changed the gender of uh, established characters like uh, like uh, Thor making him a girl or, or changed their sexual <coughs> idea of Batman and Robin. They turn Robin into it. While well, well, in, in Japanese comics they do not change the, the, the sexual identity or orient orientation and they do not change the gender of established characters. Instead, they make unique new characters that have uh, a different gender or a uh, different sexual orientation. You know, the main difference between Japanese uh, comic books and uh, American is that they make interesting new characters that feel real and can attract uh, readers. So they make new content all the time, new story and new characters. And they are great, uh, while in America they do not make a lot of new characters uh, and instead uh, use a lot of the same characters and just uh, change their gender and change their sexual orientation. And that's something people don't like when, when you take an established character like Clark Kent, Superman and, and turn him into something else that he wasn't in. Well, in, in Japan they wouldn't show homosexual or something. Uh, instead they would create a new character that is homosexual. And the main difference between how American comics and uh, Japanese comics are made, I believe in, in Japan they have a, a system where only the best and most popular shows uh, and, and the comics get to you know be published in the same uh, comic. They have the comic, for example, Shonen Jump. It's a comic book which uh, has like 10 different comics in the same comic and it constantly has only the most popular comics. If a comic book 
loses uh, its popularity, it will be replaced by another comic book that has more popularity. So they, uh, it's like a uh, meritocracy, a mer meritocracy where, where only the best comics are aired or published. Well, in America, it's not based on uh, what comic is the most popular comic. Instead, it's based on uh, uh, what politics it uh, it uh, has inside of the comic. So. A really bad comic can uh, get a lot of publicity if it has the right politics included into, into the comic. So you get a lot of uninteresting comic books in the East uh, that has the right political agenda. While in Japan only the popular comics would be aired or published so, so, so you don't have the same problem. <coughs> okay. Okay, in, in, in America, I believe that uh, comic books like Spider-Man and such, you know, they, they had a similar comic in, in, in the U.S. where they only add the where they only add the the most popular comic books, like Captain America, Spider-Man, Phantom, and such. Okay, so we won the be the game. It's 118. Managed to win despite speaking too much. Okay, thank you for watching. So this is Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22 released in Japan and France and in the Spanish speaking world such as Spain, Mexico, South America in 1995 but released in the English speaking world in England and the US in 2003 or if it was 2002 I think 2003 so yeah took like uh, took six to seven years before the English translation arrived uh, and yeah the, the French and the Spanish were lucky to get it seven years earlier than the English speaking uh, nations okay and Sweden never got the game I had to import it from the United States in 2004 as I said I didn't like this game because of the 2D sprites but now I actually think it looked great and it uh, had great moves and such, it's easy to pull them off. I prefer this game over the Super Nintendo and Sega games for sure. And there are al also a fighting game or so, uh, maybe one or two fighting games for the NES, Nintendo 8-bit system. But uh, it's, it's really bad, the graphics are bad and, and the moves are bad and such. So might still preview it at some point but yeah this game beats all the games uh, that were released prior to it uh, compared to final bout i would say it looks worse but but it's uh, still i still think this game is easier to play than the final bout game uh, but i prefer the graphics of the uh, dragon ball gt final bout game for the same system there is a third game, Dragon Ball Z The Legend, for the PlayStation 1, released in 1997, I believe, that we will also check out. It's very different, it has 3D backgrounds and 2D sprites, but the sprites in that game look worse than in this game. I believe they are the same as in one of the earlier games for the Super Nintendo, but uh, it has like four player battles at once, where you can fight together with uh, an ally against others. So it's very different, and that's why we need to take a look at it at one point. And that game can't really be compared to the others because it's so different. It's like a different game. It's a fighting game, but it's so different from the other fighting games that are one versus one that that you can't really compare it. Uh, it's like its own thing. And uh, <coughs> between uh, Ultimate Battle 22 and Final Bout, I'd say the Final Bout will win when it comes to graphics and the intro video. Both had the intros from the anime specifically made for, for the games but uh, I think the one in Final Bout were better and, and the graphics are better there with full 3D models both the stages and the characters. But this game had better controls and is the better fighting game I believe. This also has way more characters but that game also had a lot of characters that you can unlock. I don't know how to save characters in that game because uh, I restarted it recently and I had none of the characters that I unlocked previously, so yeah. But uh, one thing, the Final Bout game has a 
click a hit button when you click on, on square too. The square button didn't work because I didn't use a certain tool on my computer which allows the PlayStation 4 controller to be recognized by the EPSXE emulator for the PlayStation 1. Uh, without that progr program on, the square button didn't work, and I thought because of that that the Final Bout game only had the triangle button for beams and the circle button for kicks, but it also had the square button for hits, which works now. But all the unlocked characters that I unlocked previously, when I played for over two hours in that game, they are not unlocked anymore, I don't know how to save. So I will need to start the game from scratch now that then I have uh, when I have the all the buttons working. Okay. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, so I need to, you know, do some personal businesses here. Uh, but uh, I need to wait for the credits to end. Project DBC should end at any time. Now we will return to this game later and play as Majin Vegeta and some others maybe. I like the great selection of characters here. Uh, so this is the, in my opinion, best normal fighting game for the PlayStation. It beats everything on the older systems. Uh, but Final Bout uh, beats this graphically and I still think it's worth playing. Uh, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, it doesn't matter that it's GT. It has a lot of Dragon Ball Z characters too, like Vegeta and such. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.